Hi, my name is Blessing, and today I'm going to teach you about hair. <laughs> I'm representing my group, Ghislaine and Carrington, and we were wondering the biggest question in life. <gasps> why am I black? And why is Carrington white? And why does her hair look different than mine? And why does my hair look different than hers? Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me start from the beginning. So hair starts with this thing I like to call Sebacus glands. Actually, that's what they're called, but um, anyways. Starts with Sebacus glands, which is filled with oils and fibers and minerals and cartilage, which is in your nose and your nails. Anyways, then the oils and the cartilage and the minerals and the mini fibers and all that stuff, all that good stuff, builds up with dead skin until they hit this oily substance called sebum which is right at the top of your head if you were bald. <laughs> Anyways, sebum is filled with triglycerides, and glycerides are glycerol with three fatty acids. Three, three fatty, fatty acids. acids. Mixed together to form one big triglyceride. Triglyceride is the alpha. Oh, cool. Anyways, the chemical formula for triglyceride is C55H98O6. Oxygen 6. In the end, um, hair is pretty nasty if you really think about it, but it's okay because it looks beautiful on your head and you look graceful. Anyway, to continue, um, hair grows in this circular shape form called a helix shape. And it's a lot like a spring. So um, some people have weaker helixes based on where they're from. And that's where we get into the Darwin theory. So think about this. Fishes didn't always look the way they did. They swam in water for a long time and then they started to build these calyxes and gross things on them. And that's what we call scales now. So it's just like humans. Me and Ghislaine, our families are from Africa. Ghislaine being from Rwanda and Congo and mine being from Nigeria, where Carrington is from England, so she doesn't have extra texture of hair like us, first of all, because she ain't Afro, she ain't African, sorry, and second of all, because there's very minimal sun out there in England, there's not a lot of sun, it's a lot of rain, so her hair's helixes are a lot um, looser and a lot weaker than me and just Lane's because um, when our ancestors are when our people were working in the fields or working outside, it was very hot. So they needed their hair to protect them from all that heat. So that's why our hair grew to be bigger and stronger and a little bit darker than Carrington's. But then you can ask me, then why ain't you blonde? But that's because of melanin. So melanin is a chemical that leads me to look like I've been in an oven for 300 years and Carrington to look like she is undercooked. <laughs> um, I have a lot of melanin in my skin, so that's why I am the way I am, that's why I am black. But as for Carrington, she has not a lot of melanin in her skin, so that's why she looks a lot more paler and whiter than I do, and that's why she has blonde hair and I have a lot of darker hair, along with Ghislaine has a lot of dark our hair. So in the end, melanin is a whole topic that we can have a whole episode on. So I'm going to save that for later. But in the end, hair is all made out of the same thing. And each person's hair is pretty much this exact same thing. It's just that I have a little bit more melanin. Ghislaine has a little bit more melanin. Our helixes are stronger than Carrington's are and is because of where we're from. So anyways, thank you for joining me on all this science and thank you Ghislaine and Carrington for helping me figure out all this fun, great info. Anyways, you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!